and then I'm going to duck all the rest. You basically just said, did you fire Flynn? Yeah. And it forced him to answer it. And he basically said, I did. Yeah, he did. And the reason I answered it is because the day before, when somebody asked about Flynn, he talked about how Flynn was so badly treated by the media. But the day before that, Sean Spicer told us he'd fired Flynn. So can't trust him anymore. Yeah, right. I want to ask you, Jake uh, Turks, it seems like you had a relationship that with the president that predated his presidency back in New York. Is that right? Uh, somewhat. It was a relationship that we that I've had as a correspondent covering him. Uh, and uh, we covered all the candidates, but I got a lot of uh, requests specifically to cover uh, the Trump campaign, especially because of his uh, longtime close connections with the Orthodox Jewish community, on top of everything else that was, uh, that was going on. An important time. question he was asked yesterday as well when he took questions with the Prime Minister of Israel, who had his back. And, and when he was pressed, Donald Trump, about whether or not he's been anti-Semitic, people around him have said or done anything anti-Semitic, he got backing from Prime Minister Netanyahu, which I thought was important for his critics to hear. Did you feel like he answered your question today? So I actually want to address what, what, what your question was rather yeah. than the answer you're trying to get me to say. Well, I'm, uh, I'm actually not. I actually have an open mind. I, I really yeah. don't know what you're going to say. I'm not sure. trying to get you to say anything. Um, I've... I've worked with the president, with his people, in the, throughout the campaign, throughout the transition. And so many times I've seen some of our colleagues in the media describe certain events as, uh, in, in the way it relates to the Jewish commu community, in a certain light that no one in our community uh, saw it that way. And there were certain acts that were described as anti-Semitic or certain uh, people described as anti-Semitic. And the people in our community who know these people personally said, that's not true. Why are people who aren't Jewish? Uh, deciding what is considered anti-Semitism, um, the president's relationship with the Jewish community—I've I've, only—I've only seen it firsthand for the last two years. But yeah. uh, he's done an unprecedented amount of outreach with the Orthodox Jewish community, and so we uh, we and we understand why this is so hurtful for him mm -hmm. to see himself being called an anti-Semite when this his when you entire don't it. no, not just I don't believe it. I I've seen him firsthand. Yeah. I mean. There's, there's a... Uh, My point is you feel it's unfair. It is very unfair what's been done to him, and I understand why he's so defensive. And, and, and I'm, I'm with him uh, when it comes to being outraged about him being uh, charged with this, uh, this uh, anti-Semitism. Laura, well, we hear some of our colleagues in the media tonight, you know, sort of shouting from the rooftops that nothing short of our democracy is at stake. I wonder, though, if you look at it from...